Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I am today again up to my neck in totes. So I went outside and I got a couple of more totes. Um, if you remember yesterday, I got a couple out and I went through them and I came across one that uh, was my dad's 80th birthday party uh, tote and I kind of lost it <laughs> the rest of the day. It just wasn't any good and didn't want to do any more um, organizing or anything. So I am okay now. I went through it alone by myself and it um, it was tough, but you know, I figured out what I wanted to keep of it and what I wanted to throw away. And I pulled out a couple more today and I'm going to go through those. And like I said, I, there are several things in the garage that I need totes for. Some bigger totes, some stuff for, for um, Christmas that are I, I need like some really big red totes so that I know that it's Christmas stuff whenever I go to look for my Christmas stuff. I can find it easily in the garage. So that's my reason for wanting a certain color of tote. And like I've mentioned before, I have a color-coded system that I use with totes when it comes to holiday decorating, decorating and holiday um, supplies. Um, it just keeps me organized and kind of keeps me on track when I'm when I'm doing holiday stuff. And um, I recommend it to people. Um, you guys should try it. It definitely keeps me on track. Now, the key to it is actually keeping what belongs in the tote in the tote and not like um, sometimes um, in the year there'll be parties and holiday events and things that I um, entertain for or um, and I may go out and get something from one of the totes and maybe not put it back and so then I'm looking for that whatever that item is whenever it's time for me to use it so the key to the that system is to make sure that you keep all of the things that belong in that tote in that tote and it just makes your life a lot easier if you do so I am gonna discontinue doing that until I'm I've done it all. Um, there's, like I said, there's totes and there's also boxes. I have a few boxes that are things that from my salon that I closed. Um, I want to get all of that in one place and all of that in, you know, in certain totes so that I know where it is, you know. So I'm going to continue to do it, like I said, but I'm not going to bore you guys with <laughs> doing that every day. So I'm going to throw in some other, some other stuff in between so that you guys don't get bored with me and my totes. <laughs> and so, and I have so many, I mean, I have a ton of totes. So then I'm going to show you guys all of it. I'm going to show you the garage and I'll show you once, once I get everything um, in their um, totes. And once I go down in, in, you know, when it comes to placing the totes and where I want them to be in, in the garage. I will um, definitely let you guys see me do that. Um, <clears throat> have you guys tried this yet? I'm, this is my first time trying it. I like it. It's not something I'm going to just run out and, <laughs> you know, say, hey, I got to have some of that. It's, it's got a um, very, just a hint of orange and vanilla. I don't know what I expected. I think I wanted it to be a little more orangey and a little more vanilla, but, but it just kind of puts you in the mind of a dream sickle. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, you know, if you like Coke, then it's, it's great. It's a great product, but it just, I, I don't know why I expected it to be more and just a little more sweet than what it is. And, but I tried it and, and it's good and I'll drink it. But it, like I said, it's not something that I want to go. I'm not going to shout to the rooftops. Hey, go get, you know, I don't know. I just, it's okay. I like it. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm doing today, guys. And I am just going to do this until you know I'm done doing it so um come along with me hey guys here's some more of the stuff I got out of the other totes that I got out today this I'm pretty sure is a party thing table cover or something let's see Maybe it is a Table skirt. Well, this mm, this right here is just like a wall cover, curtains, whatever you want to call it for a party. We use this at my dad's birthday party. Okay. 
it. And then this. Let's see. Then this one is a table skirt. You can put like a color on the table, a table cover on the cake table, and this goes around. Hangs from the table. Pretty neat. So I'm gonna keep those. Put that in the party stuff. Okay. And this is some stuff that looks like some of the bonnets. Like um gray stuff I had around the I think the mirrors at the salon screen. I don't know what I would do with that right now, but I don't want to. I wouldn't want to throw it away because I may be able to find something to do with it. And the rest of this is these are flags that we use outdoors when we have our grand opening. Just colorful flags that you use on the outdoors to draw attention. The rest of these are just. Greenery and the rest is just like you know, the wooden letters that I had on the wall, I believe. And I'll keep those because it's maybe something I can do with those. Okay, so that's all that is. Figure out what to do with this greenery. In this separate bag is what I'll do. All the greenery in a separate bag. And I'll just pull all the letters out. Close the second one. I, when I opened my other salon, I named it Styled Salon. So, and neither one, neither one of them really took off the way I wanted them to. So, I just kind of decided I wasn't going to try and do that anymore. Out of too much money out of pocket, so I just decided that. Try and do something different. I won't do that anymore. I think in reality, and my real thoughts on that is that it's just, just way too many stylists, way too many salons, way too you know, many. That's my true thought on that. So, and I have my, my few regulars that I do. And I'm good with that. That's good. Works for me. When you have other sources of income, then it's not a big deal anyway. Just something I prefer not to do. I'm not going to open another salon. That's it. You know, say never say never, but. If I do, I'll do things a lot differently. Just put it that way. Things totally different next time around if it ever happens again. Because it is my profession. That is something I have under my belt. I can use it anytime I want. So, I don't frown completely up on it. Just not wanting to open this alarm anytime soon. And like I said, I have my few lo loyal regulars that I, that I do. And that works for me, so. 
They've been coming to me ever since I've been doing hair. Loyal. Super loyal. Appreciate that. You guys know who you are. Appreciate it. Love you for it. Okay, like this tote from yesterday is my dad's today. My dad's um birthday tote from his birthday party. I just need to clean it out. I got everything that I wanted out of it that I was going to keep. There's some more of these little, what did I call them? Twirl, garden twirlies. And these are clear. They just, they can match any party. So I like to keep those. They look pretty when they, when you hang them from the ceiling, the ceiling and it just kind of catches the light. A real cute party thing. Okay. Yeah, several different colors of these. I'm gonna keep them, I guess. I don't remember which tote I put the other ones in. I think it was the Easter tote. So I'll just put them to the side and I'll figure out what tote I want them to, to go in. And this is just a piece of fabric, a piece of leather. That I think I re did some chair, I mean like seats of chair, like chair covers. And this is what I had left over. I just use it for like a um, tablecloth or something. Like if I'm having a party and I need it to be there to be a black um, surface, I use that for that. And here is a rope that we used for the pinata. And this is ribbon, black ribbon. I'm not sure where it came from. Um, throw that away. I know where it, what I used it for. So this is the banner. Easel and a frame on an easel that was really pretty at the party. So, Tali's 80th birthday party. Miss you, Daddy. I love you. I miss you so much. Yeah, so, I'm gonna keep that because it's just nice. And if I ever get a, a house big enough for like maybe a um, theater room or something, I might hang that um, in a theater room or something with the. Um, with like some, even the theater room with like some, in a frame. I think that will look nice. For those of you who don't know, I lost my dad last year. Chalk. The reason there's so much glitter is because I made, and I threw that away too because it is kind of wrinkly and there's really nothing I can do with it again, but I made like a, a banner. Um, it's a really cute banner that um, said happy birthday, but I don't think I would use it again because it's way too, um, it just was for that, that particular thing. I don't think I probably would ever do it again. Yeah, we have one empty tote that I could use for something else and I... Trying to figure out what I want to put in that empty tote. I think I'm going to leave it empty for a minute, for a little bit, until I figure out what I want to put in it. And once I figure it out, then I'll put that in that tote. I don't think any of this stuff is enough to have its own tote, so I'll figure out what I want to put in it. Maybe some. And yeah, so this is the. Poster that we used at my dad's birthday party. It was really cool. We had it in a frame on an easel. And the theme was kind of Gatsby themed. So it says Tali's 80th birthday. Miss you, Daddy. Love you. And I'm going to keep that and I'm going to frame it. And if I get a house big enough, I'll put it in the theater room or something in a frame. Nice. Hold on to that. 
has a piece of wrapping paper. Um, this is a rope we used for a pinata. These are letters that came from my salon that I used on the wall at the salon. Uh, this is a little piece of fabric that I had left from covering some seats. Some um, kitchen chairs, I think I did. One time. Um, these flags here are just flags. Like to draw attention, we use these for our grand opening at the salon. Here's some more of these twirly things in clear. They're really cute at parties because they catch the light and just kind of flicker. And I have several different colors of those, so I need to figure out where I'm going to put that. So I've emptied this box, this tote here, and none of this stuff is enough, I think, to go in this tote. So what I'm going to do is use this tote for Christmas stuff. I have several boxes of Christmas stuff right outside here, right outside the, uh, the door in the garage. I'm going to go get that, and I'm going to go ahead and put some of the Christmas stuff in here because I don't want to waste this good tote on something small. So I'll um, be right back. Okay. Okay. Can you now see why I think I need more totes for Christmas stuff? There's these one two three four boxes and i think there may be two more in the garage um that are full of christmas stuff and i just think i need to invest in a couple of more totes for them because i don't think boxes are safe enough i think if something were to happen and they got wet then all of my stuff will get ruined so i don't feel like that's safe um so i'm gonna go ahead and all right, getting them prepared to put in totes. I have one extra tote that there's nothing really in them. I, I cleared it out. So now that I can use it for something that I need to use it for. So I'm going to put a, a little Christmas stuff in here. And I'm going to get more totes. And hopefully I'll have some that I can clear out <clears throat> as I go and that I can, I'll be able to use too. So I don't have to buy as many. So we'll see how that goes. But... Let's start putting some of this stuff in this tote. I kind of want to do it up high, so I don't have to bend so much. Work smart, guys, not hard. Work smart. This is my spot. Slid it and get it right over here. Transfer things. Transfer these things into this tote. So, you know, stuff like this that can break, I just kind of wrap it in. So if something soft, I wrap it in. Now, this is a, a liner. I use this on my table at Christmas. It's kind of a, a, a table liner or a table, table runner. So, let's put that. I don't want to put that in the bottom, though, because it's my break. Put something cushy under it. That's my tree skirt and table runner. I, I really don't want to show you guys all of this Christmas stuff, but it's still we're getting ready for Easter, not Christmas. So I don't want to show everything. I'm just going to transfer it all. And once when Christmas comes, I'll be happy to share with you guys all of my decorations. And how I decorate for Christmas. So that will be a video for sure. So look out for that. Ways away from that, but I didn't want to show you guys all of this stuff. Until then, but gotta do, gotta do some spring cleaning. Gotta do some spring cleaning. April. It's feeling like someone looking at this stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, all of that fit in there. Okay, so. So another box. Small, kind of small box. I think all of this is silver 
except for a certain tree. I don't want to mix the silver with the gold, so I'm gonna just do this this box. Take it over and transfer it over. There we go. This one just has tree stuff that I put on my shirt. Label the box, label this tote so that I know it's Christmas stuff now. I may don't want to get confused as to what's in here. Seat covers. These bolts are going to fit, so I'm going to have to find something else to put those in. Just going to have to have more totes. That's all it is to it. Just that's the only solution to my dilemma. Okay, so I've put all of that I can put in this tote. Close it off, and then probably just label it. we need um, I've got like maybe I got these two more boxes and a couple more down in the garage and a couple of things that are out and just loose like this it's just out and loose and it needs a place so yeah um, probably this weekend I'm gonna go looking for totes I just want I'm gonna need new. I'm gonna need more. Um, I'm going to show you guys this garage. Promised I would, and I'm gonna do it. Um, excuse it, is I hadn't gone out and done any organizing or anything yet. It's a little dark. Let me open it a little bit. Okay, it's from wall to wall, like from the the. Back of the garage, like this is coming into the garage. You park, park your car going that direction. On the right side of the garage is this oh, huge mess. And it is everything you can name. And at one point it was all organized. But <laughs> not anymore. So this is my dilemma, guys. And this is, gonna, this is what's going to take me forever to get through. But I promised myself that I would do it before I moved. If I move anytime soon, I'm gonna have this done before I do that. And then it's just, this is the left side of the garage. And it's just everything imaginable that you could think of in here. And I'm like I said, I don't do garage sales and 
um, yard sales. I don't like doing those. Um, but this is all usable, good stuff. That's my things. Mine, my boyfriend, and my stepson's things. We, we use this stuff, but not the whole year round. So it gets stored in this garage. But I'm working on it. This is the last. This is the... This is where all those totes came from, this corner right here. Not a big, very big corner, is it? And I have a whole long way to go. This is also daycare stuff from when we did the daycare. Um, have a lot of daycare equipment, a lot of toys and stuff like that from the daycare. Uh, it's just a mess, guys, and I'm, I'm working on trying to get it situated. It's going to take me a while, so hang in there with me. Yep, so this is the infamous garage. It's embarrassing. <laughs> but we'll get past it. We'll get over it. So, yeah, that's what we got to do. Got to get that thing all squared away. Hey guys, that's all for today. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe, like, and comment. Hit your notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. Thanks for joining me. Bye.